the Joe Rogan experience. I mean, I love drink. I was more of a drink guy. I mean, uh, I drank. I mean, I still I joke about it. Like, I love uh, my sobriety, but like. One and a half Vicodin and three beer was like the best I've ever felt in ever in your life. Yeah, and like a cigar. One time I went to Baghdad. I did like a USO thing with Nate Bargatze. Um And uh, we had like, we bought Cubans and I had some Vicodin. I took like a Vicodin. I don't know if he did. I don't want to. I don't think he did. Uh, but I had like a Viking. We had a couple beers and a cigar. We were at Saddam Hussein's palace. And in the moment, I was like, this is the best I've ever felt. Did you do stand up over there? Yeah. What is it like doing stand up for the troops over there? It was fun. It was, ama- it was the most grateful audience. They were like so nice and kind. Wow. And uh, it was really cool. I mean, some of it sucked because some of it was like two in the afternoon. And uh, there's like 12 guys. It's fucking 100 degrees. They're holding rifles being like, what the fuck is this? And that was the show? A couple of them, yeah. Some of them, some of them were like the ones in Kuwait were better because that was like not a war zone, um, and you're on a base and there'd be like a hundred people. But some of them were like just in the middle of the, like eleven o'clock in the morning, in the middle of fucking Baghdad. Wow! Uh, but it was pretty amazing. Like we got to uh, fly on these Blackhawks and we were in Baghdad. We went by the those cross swords and stuff where uh, the statue was pulled down and shit. What did you do when you were in Saddam Hussein's palace? That became like an American base. We stayed there. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of you fucking... stayed in Saddam Hussein's palace. Yeah, yeah. It's did pretty crazy. Did you jerk off in Saddam Hussein's palace? I don't think I did. I think Nate and I shared a room. Oh. And uh, I asked and he said no. So. I would have to. Uh, I think I'd feel compelled. I'd be like, bro, you're going to have to leave the room. <laughs> I, got a, I got a goal. I got to check something off the list. It's, it's a bizarre feeling because, you know, we like... It was like... Um, you know, we took over and then just made this palace into a base. And there's like a driving range you can like hit into like his prayer pond or whatever. <laughs> whatever the fuck it is, like reflection pool. He's got a prayer pond filled with golf balls. Yeah, that's completely. hilarious. And they sell Cubans in like the lobby. Oh, America. Yeah, we're some. We're, we're pretty cool. We are fucking something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, it was amazing. It was awesome. One time we were on the Black Hawk helicopter and they shoot flares out for whatever. I can't remember why on every flight, but they didn't tell us that. So all of a sudden you just hear like... And you feel the heat, and I thought we were in a fucking battle. Whoa. Like, I almost shit my pit. Like, it felt like, you know when you don't have to shit, and all of a sudden you're like, this is shit. I could shit right now. Yeah. It was that feeling. Your body tries to evacuate anything in there because it thinks it's in danger. Yeah, so like, let's be, we want to be able to run. Let's get all yeah, the yeah, fecal yeah. matter out. When you get really nervous like that, that's, you immediately have to piss and shit. Yeah, I just took a huge shit right before this show. <sighs> Did you wild. use the, uh, the little buttons on the toilet to shoot water up your asshole? It wasn't here. I was oh. afraid you'd beat me up if I shit, so it was at the Starbucks.